Hi guys, I'm Harpreet. I'm the development director for Edupedia overseas in Germany. Today I'm in Kharkiv in Ukraine and I'm sitting here with, what's your name? Bhavika. And they're going to tell us something about the student life in Ukraine, about the benefits and um, about what's going on in their lives as a medical student. So the first question I would have is, uh, you just came from university. Yeah. Uh, what topics did you have today? Today uh, it was with two lectures, one of anatomy and one of history of Ukraine. And uh, it was very productive and the day was very good. Okay. And you also had the same class? Same class. Okay. So tell me, where are you from, from India? Which city or which uh, district? I'm from uh, Rajasthan. I'm from Gurdaspur, Punjab. Okay. And uh, how did you come to Ukraine or yeah, how did you come to Ukraine? Yeah, as we know that there are very less seats and a lot of competition in India. So without wasting my year in the India, I selected Ukraine and fortunately I came in the best part of Ukraine that is Kharkiv. I want to study MBBS. So I have not got the state so seat so I consult EPO for my next MBBS course and they said me that uh, you have you will go to Kharkiv that which is the best where the best university is that is now I'm studying the best university so I'm happy to being here. Okay great and uh, did everything work out well with Dr. KPS Sandhu or uh, were, were there any problems in the whole process of coming to Ukraine? Actually not at all no problems arrived there and uh, Sandhu sir is very helpful for us and uh, he he He's a part of our, you know, he became a part of our family, a type of family, and uh, he's very friendly with us, so it's very easy to. No, there is no problem. They, uh, EPO always help us where we need, where we have any doubt, they clear all that. Okay, so I'm here for two days now, and I've seen that uh, you seem very happy, and um, you also came to the office and talked to Dr. KPS Sandhu about your problems and he's always there for you right he's he's not he's never just like go away or he's always there and helps you with everything he can yeah yeah you always okay how many exams do you have to give this year there is one conclusion test of medbio at the ending of the semester second and um, some continuous exams are going on in the university as a part of modules and all semester uh, after the ending of semester there is lab exams so three exams we are having at the last okay and are there any facilities where you can study is there a library or do you just study at home the yeah, library is there uh, i think in university two libraries are there in different different buildings and uh, the libraries are very um, with the full of modern equipments infrastructure is very nice so it's very easy to study there. It's very good. Okay. I have one last question for you. Um, how long did the whole process of coming to Ukraine and con consulting with Dr. K.P. Asandu take? Yeah, we visited our uh, consulting agency located nearby to our, uh, to our city. And uh, there I talked to Mr. Ranjeev Sandhu. He told me about uh, Dr. K.P. Sandhu. And then uh, from EPO, uh, we joined and we uh, consulted about it and uh, found it that the results are very good and asked also about uh, asked about it to seniors also and it is, the results are very effective of and productive. So it almost took uh, about 20 days and then finally we got visa to Kharkiv and we visited here. Yeah. Okay, and how long did the process take for you? It's like I have applied from uh, more from uh, from my test I actually because I am not sure that I I am getting seat or not. So f I have applied in June and in June I get the, my offer letter and after that there is some say problem because of that we are late but uh, just little bit late uh, but it take less time to come here and I have just less days okay
Like and comment if you find this video informative. Make sure to hit the subscribe button to get more updates from Edupedia Overseas.